Look guys, I'm I'm uploading another video today. I haven't done this in like a long time. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you um how to actually ride um these two stroke five hundred. Now um now I saw Perky Pigeon doing this. I just wanna see if um if I can actually do it. And yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure I can do it without crashing. I mean, he was struggling with standard settings and tr and with traction control on it, most assists on. So it's pretty worrying, but I think I can do it. So Perky Pigeon, if you when you, when you're watching this, because I know you wa you're going to be watching this, just. What the lines I take and where I break and where where I accelerate. It might help you because Hello to all our viewers. Oh, and as well, um Yeah. I um if you want me to do more of these, just tell me. Like if you want me to do career mode, I've well I've already started my career mode, but I can I can always just tell you what's going on. So we get lights out and away we go for the 500 shoe stroke British Grand Prix. So you come into the first corner. We're we'll take it nice and careful. And then you want it. I did, by the way, this is my first time riding with these bikes. So this could easily fail. So, so you go. So you're coming into the maggots, Beckett's and Chapel section. And we've just absolutely nailed all of them. Let's look at Cadillac over there. My the teammate of Wayne Rainey in two, 1993. It, and 1993 was known for two things. Well, I'll go with the least popular. Kevin Schwantz won the World Championship. And the most famous one was obviously Ray, Wayne Rainey having his massive crash that, that I think it paralysed him for life, so that's why he's in a wheelchair um, now. So anyway, yeah, so at the minute we're doing pretty well in 8th position on the hardest difficulty first time on these two shoot 500 let's see if I can go on to take victory so so um, something just went weird on there like the playstation like icon came up to say do you want to do anything but yeah, I didn't say it. That's why I didn't say anything. Anyway, we're behind Wayne Gardner, the guy, the guy, and the team manager of that. You may not know this, but the team manager of Wayne Gardner was the legendary Jeremy Burgess. I've completely forgot his name then. Like, I knew what his name was, and then like, like his name just blanked out of my mind. But there's Max Biag, the guy. Probably the most hated person. I probably my most hated person apart from Casey Stoner. Hashtag Casey Moner because he every race he moaned. Can we lap two or three now? Coming to cop, but probably the only corner I know on the circuit. Back end stepping out, but to be honest, I don't perky pigeon. I do not how you were. Losing the bike every single lap, and you end up rage quitting. So yeah, as you see, we're going round the outside of Valentino Rossi and Freddie Spencer, but it did not work out. So back and we're stepping out again, but these are not hard to control at all. So I have no idea why you are struggling, mate. So anyway, coming into the into I want to say still. I'm not 100% now. I don't. I don't 100% now. Coming into Vale, and I do not care about Port Vale at all. Because to be honest, I don't even support Stoke City, my home club. I support Barcelona. Hence why my my picture is messy. We go 
up the inside of Valentino Rossi when he was 21 years old, even though it says 22. But yeah, another glitch with this game people haven't actually noticed. When you go on MotoGP, when you go on the 2015 season, it actually says Valentino Rossi is 37 and that Mark Marquez is 23. So, so Rossi is obviously 36. Everyone who knows Rossi dead well knows that. Like they know facts about him. Then everyone knows that Mark Marquez was 20 when he, won, when he was world champion. And then he was 21 last year, so obviously this year he's 22. And his birthday's in January, so. For it to say 23, I think it's a bit over the edge there. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong with their ages. So I, I am just. The question. Right, so now the question is can I catch up to Mick doing another man who was guided by Jeremy Burgess? Also, Valentina Rossi was. But now obviously he doesn't, I, do, I can't remember what the, the guy's name is who he has now. But all I can say is a big success for Rossi now, considering he's leading the championship by 10 points. I'm trying to not cut the corner as much. So if I do, I'm sorry. But Mick doing is not letting me go. He is going to give up, he's going to give me a fight. So here we go, coming down the hangar straight. According to Perky Pigeon, we go coming up the inside, and we've got him going up into Stowe. Uh, I'm still not sure if that's the right, but that's what it's called. But we've got him up the inside. That's absolutely brilliant. Coming into Vale, I'm not sure if it actually is called Vale, but I'm guessing. Coming into the chicane as we've pretty much nailed it, and Mick doing his shunted us, but we've somehow not gone off the bike. Somehow we are very, very fortunate there. Somehow, well, here we are coming into probably the fastest swing of corners, apart from Maggots and Beckett. But I'm not used to the old school riding style. But I don't even think Wayne Rainey should have that style. I think he should have like, because when he rided, when he rid, when he rode, sorry, um, he was sort of like nowhere above the bike. He was like level with the bike his head was, so. I think it should be like Rossi style balance, but like a bit up, so it should be named Rady style. <laughs> or just level. So we're coming into the final two. There's two more corners to go now. Wayne Rainey holds the position. Mick Two is going to get done. He's done a Sam Lowe's. He has done a Sa Sam. Sorry, an Alex Lowe's. Do is holding the line. Wayne Rainey really goes up the inside and he's. Pulling a wheelie. Uh, oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I should not have done a wheelie. For God's sake. Our I should not have done a wheelie. Us to park Ferme shortly Before to I had the that one. On the podium, but first, let's thought, quickly check out the final position. The line, but Damn. But anyway, that's been um, how to control. The 15. His it, second 15. place today is a great result for both him I think and his team. And above all, it shows great event. promise for the next races. So, this is how you ride the two stroke 500 around Silverstone. If it helped your perky pigeon, just thank me. Yeah, this has been Jaguar 4658.